but uh, uh, let's give them a bit of time. <laughs> this is still Midday Live on TV3. We'll move away from the power and energy issues. And majority of toilet facilities at Jamestown here in Accra have been converted into rooms. Peter Kwawa Data reports that residents prefer open defecation to paying to use public toilets. Conducted by what I suggested, only a handful of households have the toilet facilities in the Jamestown community. It is impossible to find space for toilet facilities in homes here. All spaces have been turned into rooms. The concentration should rather be on new developments. The survey also established that people pay little attention to personal hygiene. Just as keeping personal hygiene is important for our bodies, keeping our surroundings clean is key to our health. Cleanliness is the best medicine. Insanitary conditions are a major cause of ailment in Jamestown. Short documentaries on insanitary conditions were shown to drive home the message. There were proposals for the introduction of mobile toilets as a means of resolving the challenge. And uh, we'll stay with that issue a little longer. And statistics from the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development indicate that only 15% of Ghanaian homes have access to improved latrines. In the Ashanti Regional Capital of Kumase, open defecation is a major problem that residents have had to contend with. Benjamin Edu reports. 20% of Ghanaians practice open defecation, while 30% use shared latrines at subinso near asafo market a commercial area the residents have refused to use a water closet facility many of the public toilets are located within the communities raising fears that the situation might lead to an epidemic the chief executive officer of clean team valerie labi says providing toilet facilities to community members is a must for all. As a community, when we see people doing things like open defecation, not only would we reprimand that individual who's doing that, we'd also give them another better alternative of how to hold themselves with dignity. 